There we go. A nice number. Uh, all right. Hello there, you beautiful people. My name is Willow, and welcome back to Supreme Commander of Forge Alliance Forever, where today we're going to be casting a 1v1 ladder match. I'm going to call it a step stool ladder cast. Even though these players are slightly over a thousand rating, I, I don't care. I really just don't. So, starting off with the red player in the top right, it's a red UEF by the name of Kamachi Onozuka going first land. Then moving on to the bottom left side of the map, we have a blue UEF by the name of Hawk289. And yeah, we're on the map Crimson Feud, a classic map for both 1v1 and 2v2 ladder at this point. There's about 7,000 reclaims spread out around the map, and these players are going to be vying for a position to beat each other over the head with UEF units. It's a UEF mirror matchup, so going to be a fun one. We do have an early Mech Marine and Snoop combo, the classic, the original harassment party nowadays with your flares and spirits and your uh, your Selin solo parties. You now I like the classics with the Mech Marine and Snoop, the bike and the boy with guns. So indeed, we are going to be seeing how these players match up against each other. Of course, it does look like the aggression out from Hawk289 is going to be showing up relatively early in this match as he is going to be already on the enemy side of the map. But these players, of course, not the best players in the world, but they should be quite evenly matched, being very close in ladder ranking. We have ourselves a line of factories queued up by Hawk at the moment, and we have a more kind of adjacency focused build out from Komachi. And yeah, so the Mech Marine is still alive. The Snoop was gunned down. Unfortunate for the Snoop. The Mech Marine still gonna try and run away from this, is getting chased down by the opposing Mech Marine. Gonna be. At the very least, keeping his enemies harassing units on this side of the map is Hawk289. Wait, what? Terminal? Excuse me, why did you remove the ability to redeem you saying a phrase for 2000 I had a number of phrases lined up oh yeah no I I just I just added a zero I mean everybody likes zeros that's like what you want in your bank account so why not add a zero to uh to the uh to, to the other thing the uh, maybe it's because somebody made me say something silly on huh, terminal <laughs> yeah I I'm gonna make you work to get me to say it <laughs> now I'm too poor <laughs> Okay, for the YouTube people, speaking of which, I'm streaming live on Twitch every cast, uh, there is the ability to make me say a word or phrase, and it used to cost 2,000 channel points, which was a reasonable amount. It was a it was an amount that you could achieve within a few hours of watching. It's now 20,000 because terminal. Maybe Snake Mister, maybe I will. I do need to get a few casts done, so if you're on whenever the casting is completed, we might play some survival. Uh, but I need to focus on the cast. Sorry for the YouTube people who are going to be like, Oh no! He's interacting with the people on Twitch! How dare him! There's a bit of a fight going on here. There was a bomber out. Didn't really achieve much. The uh, bomber was quite late. But, of course, you can't always just go for that air aggression. We do have Hawk moving to the middle. Neither of these players actually doing all that great on reclaim, in my opinion. Komachi's up to 1.3 thousand, but... Uh, honestly, I think both of these players could improve their play quite a bit by just getting a few more engineers out reclaiming instead of building. Kamachi right now is balancing his economy quite well. Hawk is not not doing quite as well. About to be overflowing on mass. Is in a power stall. Needs to focus on that. Yeah, you need more power generators than just a three and a hydro, especially when you're trying to get up your f like fourth factory. Uh, that's a little bit that's a little bit overzealous with your energy grid. He's over here like ah, oh, it's it's kind of just like you know. 
when you're uh, when you're trying to decide between getting a case of beer or uh, paying the electric bill. And uh, Hawk chose the case of beer. We'll have to see how his financial planning works out for him. I would not suggest listening to any of his advice in the stock market as his tanks are being uh, able to repel, or no, they're being repelled into the enemy base. It's weird. It's weird to see units chased into their own their own base, like chasing an enemy unit into your base. Over here, we have some strikers that are uh, going to their death, gonna be absolutely a carnage over here. So many dead units that didn't need to die. These three tanks are being quite the defense force. Honestly, they're, they're killing off a lot more because the uh, units out from Komachi are just kind of streaming in one by one. Single file may work great for the DMV, but it does not work here in FAF. All right, so we have the Com of Hawk over here is blapping away at some kind of unit. I don't even know what that was, but it didn't even leave a wreck. It was atomized, destroyed to the core of its being. And man. Oh, Kappa Senpai, red is you. Oh, Kappa Senpai, you shouldn't have told me. All right, now we just have to criticize Kappa Senpai for the rest of this cast. Uh, Kappa Senpai, you, I, I was just talking about it, but you do know single file doesn't work, right? Like, group your units up. Ape strong together, monkey strong together. Keep unit together. I know you're UEF, it's hard for you to process such high level tactics. <laughs> I love you, Kappa. I'm, I'm sorry. That was a little bit mean. But I do have to hate on the UEF still. Like, come on. They're the UEF. What's 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 to like? Uh, interceptors flirting with the idea of shooting each other, but both deciding I'm going to go home and have a nice cup of joe. Maybe, you know, find some, I don't know, motivational posters or books to, to read to make myself confident enough to go shoot the enemy interceptor oh oh we have a hero an ace pilot out from hawk and it's gonna go down but it does manage to take out a enemy interceptor oh man very very uh good are you terminal are you one of those people who says thanos did nothing wrong over here perfectly balanced as all things should be <laughs> So, we're at the 8 minute mark almost, let's check on Reclaim. Komachi doing twice as better, or Kappa Senpai doing twice as better on the Reclaim. That's how English works, yes, don't question it, that's that's how English works. Doing a lot better on Reclaim. Uh, overall, for the mass generation, Komachi also in the lead. Going for T2 mechs is quite early, but I don't think he has the production. He's, he's currently about to get slapped over the head with a bunch of... UEF units. He does have Tech 2 finished up, so he's going to be getting a power generator, possibly some static defense, as you want those beefy static defenses to just absolutely smack people. And of course, he's a UEF player, so yep, there's the triad that's never going to finish because buildings are better than units. I learned that from Steps to a Ladder. I really need to get a graphic made. You know how, like, like, StarCraft 2 has Bronze League heroes with Winter StarCraft. I need to get a, a, a graphic made for Steps Duel casts. I also need to do more Steps Duel. I need to do more Subpar Commander, too. Like, those are probably the best series on my channel. Over here, we have a incursion by the blue UEF into the red UEF air territory. Overall, economically, it does look like Komachi might be a slight bit ahead, but not by much, only by four or five mass generation a second. But he does have T2, which his opponent has neglected the idea of going for tech, instead just has more units. Down here in the bottom right, there is still this incursion by the blue units of Hawk, absolutely destroying this modern uh, production facility trying to they're they're trying to get the mass out of the ground but unfortunately that mass is getting smashed by the blue man who now has control of most of the map all right 
so this is the point where we start build. So if if I know my if I know my my 1,000 ladder rating uh, meta right now, this is the point where Komachi really really needs to start coming out here and uh, just building point defense that he can't afford. Um, and he will sit in his base until he builds a duke. Watch, this is this is gonna be beautiful. If it doesn't happen, I blame communism. Damage and range on the way for Hawk 289. <laughs> if it does happen, I blame capitalism. Ooh, which is worse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Man, I, I seriously, like, uh, maybe Twitch chat can help me with this, but I don't understand why you all watch my casts. Some casts, I will admit, I'm on point and I'm talking about the game and like I'm covering all the interesting stuff. And then other games, I'm just going on tirades about random shit and you all still watch it the exact same. Whether the cast is not relevant to the, like I could, some casts, it, I could literally put the audio from certain casts and just throw it over any game that I record with no audio and it would make just as much fucking sense. But you all still watch, so you know what? It's all good. All right, so Kappa Senpai coming up with the pillars, which in case you didn't know, the pillar is just a striker with two barrels and um, it's shit. It's, I think it's, in my opinion, the pillar is the worst of the T2 tanks. Um, the reason that it, the, it's only redeeming factor is it's cheap, is I, I, is it cheap? Is it even cheap though? Like, I, I just think it's bad. It's really slow. It's got like no movement speed. It's all, it's, it's almost as slow, if not slower than the Aurora. Wait, can you pick, can you kite pillars with Aurora? Like, can pillars not catch up? Like, if you just have an, oh man, that, that is, that's really slow. The pillar is, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but three seems really slow. Like the striker I know is higher than three, right? Let's go ahead and check. What's the striker speed? Yeah, 3.4. It's slower than the T1. It's super slow. I don't know. I, I just like to rag rag on the UEF. I, I, I will stand by the fact, though, the best T2 tank is by far the Obsidian. Mainly because it it may not be fast. I will admit, the slow the slowness is the worst part about the obsidian. But everything else about it, it wins. It, it has the personal shield, the giant alpha damage. It, I think it's better than Ilshiva's. Um, and like if if they're just straight up fighting, and yeah, I think obsidians beat Ilshiva's mass for mass, don't they? I for sure agree the UEF get too much credit. Honestly, I I kind of have to rag on the UEF and the Cybrans. Well, not the Cybrans as much. I have to rag on the UEF and the Seraphim because none of the other casters rag on them. Every other caster is either a UEF fanboy, a Cybran fanboy. There's no Seraphim fanboys fanboys because the, the Seraphim are... Nobody likes the Seraphim, but nobody talks about the Seraphim, and I'm going to do that negatively now. <laughs> T2 on the way for Komachi, who is of... Oh, no. Komachi. Yeah, I, is Kappa, I had so much respect for you, and now you're out here doing the Icy Nightmare strategy of I'm just going to get tactical missile on my comm. <laughs> I love Icy Nightmare, but I do, I do think he relies on that quite heavily. Oh my god. It's not a, it's not even necessarily a dumb upgrade. Your opponent just now got T2. You can definitely get some economic damage. It's not a stupid move. It just feels bad, okay? I I'm I, I'm not a fan. Unless you try and use this tactical missile to snipe the comm, you're perfectly fine. You're you're still making a good move. You've only built one triad, which is a, amazing for a 1000 rate. No, you built two. You're building a third. Yep, I told you this is the point where we start building triads that are pointless. You have an army here. You have this area protected. You don't need these triads. What are these triads protecting and why are they right next to each other? This is your main base. You are not fire basing. You are not like PD creeping. You don't need triads right next to each other. 
honestly, I this triad should just be built right here. Like that, instead of building two triads here, build one here and one here if they're that paranoid. You know what? You know what's really good in a in a grand strategy game where you can have a thousand units on the screen? You know what's really fucking good, Kappa Senpai? Factories. Factories do a lot of work in this. Oh my god. So this this is just a disaster. This didn't need to happen, but it is. It is happening. Like, don't don't get me wrong. It just didn't need to. There there's like uh, Oh my god. I need to start a coaching series where I just like tell people how to play UEF because it's obvious that they don't understand it. Actually, I take it back. Hawk needs to start a coaching series because he built fucking factories. God, how many times? Like, I have so many people who watch this channel. They'll submit a replay like, oh yeah, look at this dope win. And like, they forget to build factories and they're getting pummeled by T1 units because they went T2 at like three minutes. Oh my gosh. This, I mean, the only good thing about this is you get a bunch of reclaim, but now you're behind on tech. If you had just built more factories, guess what? You'd be tech too with your stupid tactical missile comm. I, I, I also, how's the economies doing? Okay, Hawk. Hawk, dude, I know you watch this. You are part of the my one of my favorite casts ever. The base trade cast. Hawk was in it. But also, I have a faint, I have a, I have a very distant memory that even in that game, Hawk was power stalling. Hawk, build fucking power generators. I know you watch my casts. Build power generators. Come on, man. I, at this point, like, you all should just, like, start trading. You got way too much power and can't spend your mass. He's uh, he, he, he's spending all of it. He, Komachi, he is spending for you. you. It's amazing that you're not overflowing on mass since you have four factories and they can only produce T1 units now. It, it, it's going to be fine. My money is still on Kappa Senpai winning. I don't know who submitted this. I didn't really pay attention. I just grabbed all the links. So it's a good chance. Both of these players watch my cast. Both of them have submitted cast to me. Like, this is a fair game. I don't know who wins, but I have a sneaking suspicion that somehow this tactical missile comm is going to kill off, like, 30% of the main base and win, because that's just how UEF mirror matchups go. I, I also, by the way, right, right over here, you can see, like, a bunch of math going on. We'll move the map. We'll move the map. You can see a bunch of math going on. People like, well, actually, the... Obsidian's not that good. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm really aggressive today. Today is not the day to be on Willow's bad side. <laughs> Obsidian's have pillars have half the build time of obsidians. Well, fun fucking fact. Two pillars will die to one obsidian. Actually, I don't know if that's true. If that's true, that, I mean, then, yeah, obsidian's still strong. I don't care. Obsidian's cool. Fuck off. Stop trying to fight with me. You should just ignore Twitch chat. I keep on saying I'm going to and then never do. These Mongees having a very bad day because uh, Hawk doesn't understand the idea of having more range. Hmm... Hmm. Okay. So Komachi is coming out here. He should just fucking die. He doesn't have enough unit. Like, if Hawk grew some balls and just threw his units at the comm of Komachi, Komachi dies right here. Especially if he just walks his comm forward, which has a gun upgrade. Yeah, Komachi should just die right here. But I don't feel it's gonna happen. I have a sneaking suspicion that Hawk is going to play like a little bitch. Hawk, why are you scared? Oh my god, you have such a bigger army. Just walk, go forward. Attack him. You win right now. All you have to do is walk up and smack him with your mobile artillery. Smack them cheeks. Okay, good. 
He, he's, he's no longer being scared. Is Kamachi actually going to lose right here? Oh yeah, Kamachi just loses it. You just have to right click on the comm and he dies. There is no outplay to be had. Okay, Kamachi does pay for getting the tactical missile upgrade. Wait, wait, is he gonna tactical missile the comm of Hawk? No! No, 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 do not tell me! Oh, you have to be shitting me. You have to be shitting me. It's gonna happen. Hawk is gonna lose because he didn't right click on Kamachi's comm and he got hit with a tactical missile. Oh my... Fuck! Kappa, you deserve to lose this and I know you're gonna win it now. Come on, there we go. Here we go. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed with this cast, but I also really love it. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my Patreon where you can throw me money. If you're on Twitch, throw me money. There's more buttons to do it on here than on Patreon. So like, you should be able to figure it out, Twitch chat. Uh, otherwise, fuck you, pay me. Thank you to my Patreons, Timothy Calderwood, Nogthar, and uh, yeah, who's the last one? Mutant gene pool? I don't know, the, the list has changed. If I forgot you, I apologize. I will fix it in post or something. Goodbye, YouTube.